Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Up Next. I want to come back with another video. Hey, man, say, man, look. First link in the description, make sure you go cop, make sure you go shop, man. Up Next Satin Line Beanies, also the Up Next Multi Purpose Beanie. Y'all know I wear this 24 7. It's, it's very comfortable to wear around that crib. Um, you can take a shower in it. You can take a shower in these, too. I always take my shower in these. Just to, I put my whole hair in those. Yeah. But we got the boy Yo Gotti goes to war with the entire Memphis after hiring the whole police. Shout out to Cut to the Chase TV. Make sure y'all go like, make sure y'all go subscribe. Go over there and watch the video without any interruptions because this is my reaction. I want y'all reaction in the comment section down below, so make sure you comment. Let's hop straight into it. Let's get it. Let's go. What's up, fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Rapper Yo Gotti has Negro? finally laid this brother Big Juke to rest and he hired the whole police department at security. And that's a decision that faced a mini criticism from the public. He had snipers on the roof. He had police on every corner. He and had exes blocked off stuff. and the public was outraged by it. They was like, damn, Big Juke is important, but he ain't the damn president. So do we have to <laughs> use our entire police force for his funeral? And that's a decision I actually agree with. I actually own Yo Gotti's side. I think Yo Gotti did right by hiring the whole police department. You gotta look at it like this. Big Junk Killers has not been found. They have not been arrested. They still on the streets of Memphis roaming free. Mm. And ever since Big Junk died, many people have been speculating. We've been saying Yo Gotti was the target. Mm. We've been saying Yo Gotti is next. So if I'm Yo Gotti worth millions of dollars, mm. I got a lot going for myself. I'm gonna take the necessary measures to protect my life and to protect my family life. But let's keep this shit 1000 and see, 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 I'm doing better with the pausing. And I'm not pausing every 30 seconds. I'm trying to let a minute go by. But look, let's keep it 1000 because this is my reaction. Like I told y'all at the beginning of the video, y'all wanna watch the whole video, go watch it. I just shout out the channel and the video, go watch it. But look, bro, here go my thing, right? You're going to war. <laughs> like, even the title is just, like, you're going to war with the whole. De police department like you go to war but you hire the whole police department it's like you got stuff out of this you the biggest gangster you the biggest drug dealer like i be hating when motherfuckers be like i be hating because like it's like it's like when you come to our community when it comes to our community you claim that you're the biggest drug lord you claim that you're the biggest gangster but i don't know no gangster that Cooperate with the with, with with the police. Cooperate, cause cause you have to cooperate. You have to cooperate for them to be your security. You have to tell them, hey, I need y'all niggas on the roof. I need y'all like, like you have to pay them to do this. Like let's not get it misconstrued. But let's go. But everybody else, they on his side. But y'all forget, Yo Gotti claimed to be the biggest drug lord <laughs> on the internet. So see, people are saying tough. Yo Gotti scared. Oh, I thought you. No, 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 no. Look, Yo Gotti is a boss. Yo Gotti is smart as hell. But I'm just saying the image that niggas be portraying, it really don't be them. Like, I. And then it's it's not even that. It's like an entertainment image that that's like blowing my mind. It's the fact that it harms our community every time he portrays the image. You get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like, it's okay with coming on the internet and entertaining. But what's not okay to me is you coming on the internet portraying like you the biggest gangster when gangsterism it kills our community. All the shooting, all the all the all the, all the drugs, all, everything, every the trauma, everything. But then you go and cooperate and you hire police. Yo Gotti was a real nigga. That's all I'm gonna say. Why do he need security? You sound like a damn fool. If your brother was taken out, the family wants to mourn. I want to give him a going away party. I want to live it up for him. I want my family in attendance. If I got the means to do it, I'm going to hire them Navy SEALs. I'm going to put a sniper on he them. Said he gonna hire I'm going to block Navy off Seals. exits. Because as soon as he get killed, if he just hired two securities, we're going to be saying, man, Yo Gotti was tripping, man. Yo Gotti was lack. He thought he was hard. They done got Yo Gotti. We just gonna blog about it and talk about how stupid he was for not hiring security. So mm. when the man actually does it, he still get criticized. Mm. Now I do admit, he did treat it like it was a president of the United States. Sniper <laughs> on the roof, damn. Helicopters, 
I mean, what you want a nigga off, to do? Police everywhere. What you want a nigga to do? Police on every corner. And they even had, you can't just show Man, it's, a boss. it's not open to the public. You had to be invited to the funeral. You had to fill out an application. They had to do a background check. That's how Yo Gotti was moving. And that's very smart. And that's why Yo Gotti my is still alive. Like that That's why Yo Dolph is dead. That's why Big Jook is dead. And that's why Gotti is the last one standing. Because Yo Gotti moved like a boss. You ain't going to just catch him out of line. That's slipping. true. That's you ain't going to catch him at the funeral in the that's restaurant true. parking lot. That's true. You ain't going to catch him going to get cookies. Yo Gotti moved real militant. And that's why I apply for this And Yo Gotti move. don't look anyway, like he smoked a lot. Let's take a look at the funeral flyer and see don't just look like how he important a lot. and just how... And see, and see, that's an important. You know what I'm saying? Yo Gotti look like he don't do no drugs. But... Let him tell it. He sell all the drugs, but how can you sell all the drugs when you're hiring the police? That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother story. But we gotta take notes here. Yo Gotti look like he don't do no type of drugs. Yo Gotti don't look like he smoke. Yo Gotti don't look like he. Yo Gotti look like he have a clear mind, and that's very important as a as a, as a boss, as an entrepreneur, um, um, as a leader. It's very important that you have a clear mind. If you if you go to Young Dolphs. If you go to Young Dolph's interviews, you're going to see that a lot of the times, he looked like he was tired, he looked like he was sleepy, and that can kind of fog your mind, like not getting enough rest can kind of like, you know? So, take notes. Serious, Joe Gotti's taking safety. Let's go. Don't buy another lottery ticket before- Come on, G. And then got them ads, shout out. Shout out. He got them ads. Boom! This is Big Jug Funeral Flyer. He was born September 4th, 1970. All right, nigga. All right, nigga. Come on now. Come three, on now. Three nigga finish. years. Big Juke died of old age. You 47. You got the little majority of your life. Hmm. Most street dudes would take that. So if you a street dude coming up, you a youngin. If you make it to C47, you blessed. Cause a lot of y'all ain't gonna make My thing C47. was the nigga was 47 and still acting like he was 25. Now, I can understand like, I and let me take that back. I'm gonna say, the nigga was 47 and still acting like a kid, like getting on the internet, doing all this and that and the third. Like, you don't see your guy doing that. You know what I'm saying? Five, but Big Jug lived a full life by street nigga standards. He wasn't in jail. He got to make millions of he, dollars. He was. He, he got to do some productive with his life. Point. But anyway, let's read this. The Mills family would like to extend a heartfelt appreciation for the support during this difficult time. Nigga, after we not here to watch you. Is we're not here for that, that background. You won't get me, right? And a lot of people was actually criticizing that part as well. They like, damn, I need an application can go to a funeral. I can't just walk up in a funeral. I gotta get winded by a metal detector. Damn, yes. you got you going too far. And once again, I disagree. He didn't go far. Lives the first are on time. the line. Straight up. Big Juke Killers is still out there. Pepper Rock Empire is still out there. Yo God is taking no <laughs> chances. And let me say this to Yo God. If you gotta do all this to be safe in Memphis, gotta have mm -hmm. a sniper on the roof. Mm -hmm. Gotta have the police on every block. Mm -hmm. That's a city that no longer loves you. Facts. And that's a city you no longer needs to visit. Facts. After Big Juke is buried, hop your ass on a plane, move your family out, and never go back to Memphis. That's my advice to Yo God. It's just not worth it. Hiring a whole damn police department to keep you safe? That means they don't love you, bro. That means some big hitters is really after you. You see what they did to your brother. Well, it don't mean that they don't love you. It's just that you probably got the whole city mad at you. You probably got the whole city that he right. The whole city probably don't love him. You know what I'm saying? But like in Young Dog's situation, it was like a, a, a group of niggas that damn like him. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole city really stood behind him, but Young Dolph was moving. We could say he was moving sloppy. We could say he was moving sloppy. We could say that. You seen they riding on everybody. Everybody you know is dropping like flies after the murder of Young Dolph. And a lot of people saying that's get back. So Yo Gotti, take heed to my advice. Get the hell out of Memphis as soon as the funeral ends, right? So that nigga act like he just giving Yo Gotti like two cents. Bitch, you don't need your two cents. <laughs> take heed to my advice. Nigga, he is a boss. He don't give a fuck what you talking about, bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga, this nigga act like he talking to Yo Gotti's soul. Nigga. I'm not even gonna say nothing, bro. Shout out. Yesterday, it started floating around that snipers was at the wake of Big Jug. Security was everywhere. And we was like, man, that's time to sound suspect. That don't even sound real. A sniper on the roof at a funeral. 
Nah, you mean to tell me police is that real. big juke? Wait, like he's the president, winding people, harassing. Listen, nigga, Yo Gotti is the president. He's paying for the police. God damn me. He's on the police payroll, nigga. Yo Gotti is the president. The fuck are you talking about? News. I don't, I'm not buying that. We didn't believe it until we actually seen it. Let's take they, a look. They at might it. actually find out who killed them now. Because <laughs> they probably are. got them. police everywhere. Look. Police right there. They the police the police call over there. The police, they got the police in the Chevy. You know shit get real when police you got the police in the Chevy. There. I don't fuck got police everywhere, every cut. Damn, black boy. Goddamn chemistry. Alright, so this guy from Memphis went We didn't see nothing. Driving. We didn't see anything, bro. We don't want to talk about this footage. We didn't see shit around Memphis in the area of Big Joe's funeral and he's showing police cars everywhere. He's showing that nigga got nothing police better cars to do here, with his life. Cars there, snipers them a funeral. Memphis is that in straight sad. chaos right now and that's why the Memphis is, is straight bad. sad. The public was saying if y'all got everybody at Big Joe's funeral, who's patrolling the city? Nobody. Who's keeping us safe? Nobody. The criminals is going wild. And that's what I'm interested in. Since they got a lot of police at Big Juke's funeral, I want to know, did the crime spike in Memphis? Because if I'm a criminal in Memphis, and I know Big Juke having this funeral at this time, about to all the police on forces there, I'm going to be in the cut making my move. That's just the way I operate if I'm a criminal. You got to think smart, <laughs> not harder. Anyway, Allegedly. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. That's the way I operate if I'm a criminal. Yeah, this nigga is really playing dead and gone. This nigga is really playing dead and gone. This nigga is riding around Memphis playing dead and gone. Y'all niggas vibration is so low. I swear to God, you won't catch me around that area. Niggas vibration are too low for me. Nigga playing dead and wrong. dead and gone around the funeral. Just circling the funeral. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You don't have kids to go take care of. <laughs> oh, these niggas. I turn my head to Nigga trying to get me copyrighted, man. I ain't fucking with this shit, man. Fuck around with these niggas. With you. And I'm gonna just say this. This is actually smart by Yo Gotti. Cause I'm pretty sure the police know his route after the funeral. That's why they set up like that. They know the exact route Yo Gotti's gonna take, so they gonna keep him safe all the way to the airport. Cause trust me, Yo Gotti's not making any stops in Memphis. It's the funeral, straight to the airport, and getting the hell out of Dodge. And I don't blame him, cause Yo Gotti has nothing to prove. He's a multimillionaire, very successful record label. So why would he try to prove himself to bloggers? That nigga ain't got why nothing to prove. Why would he try prove? to prove how hard he is to the public? Cause if he get killed, but God damn it! All we gonna do is make nigga videos pushing this bullshit. He, he knows that. He like y'all ain't getting me off my game. Like I told y'all the other video, bro. Niggas can push this bullshit all day. It's only gonna come back on them. All these niggas pushing it, pushing this gangster agenda, pushing all this bullshit, pushing all these low vibrations. It's only gonna, it's only gonna, it's only gonna come back on you. Straight up. And he's smart by doing this. That's something I would have did. And my brother just got taken out. It's rumors I'm next. I'm not going to be no sitting duck. I'm going to go live it up for my brother. I'm going to send my brother away the right way. But I'm not going to be a sitting duck and be next. So I'm going to take all unnecessary precautions. And that's exactly what he did. That's not scary. That's called being smart. That's called being having something to live for. And I see that with Yo Gotti, right? And now we got a pastor in Memphis who's been covering this. He's the one who broke the news about the armed security, AK. After this video, I'm, I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you a bike. I'm gonna give you a bicycle. Too much meat riding, nigga. Too much meat riding for your body, nigga. I'm gonna give you a bicycle, okay? These sevens everywhere. Snipers <laughs> on the about, roof. Man. Let's hear what he said about Big Chuck funeral. Let me read you this post. Boom! Nigga, this you read one more goddamn post. Read one more post, nigga. We can read, nigga. You, you, you. Goddamn, my nigga, chill. I'm making a video. It's tough. This is from Thaddeus Matthews, the, AKA the Cussing Pastor. We all familiar with him. This is what he said. 
The funeral for the big jug starts at 11. Security is very tight. Seems like all the MPD is open now hand. Private security with AKs are all over the lot of New Direction Church with snipers on the roof. To get in the church, you have to go through metal detectors and you also have to be- All right, my nigga. Actually, we not here, we not here. Come on, Najee. Come on, Najee. That's not, come on, Najee. We ain't here for that shit, man. We not here to watch niggas read posts, Take your photo of a sniper on the roof. And you damn right. Yeah, that boy got that. So you try anything for the Latin nigga room, on that bitch. Your head gonna be taken off your shoulders. That's all I'm saying about that. And the security was playing no that games. That nigga definitely was in the army. Because a fan definitely. actually recorded video of Yo Gotti leaving. And he had security and cars all around him. You couldn't get close to your guy. You had armed security. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the video. I know you got the video. Yeah, we back. Let's see. And we live. IG what it do. Yeah, we back, man. It's Big Drip Funeral in Memphis, man. They finna leave. It's been a long service, man. They finna get up out of here. Only on Black or News. See, uh -oh. it's always this nigga. They in them black trucks, boy. Ooh. It's always this nigga who entertain all And I'm the pretty trucks. sure every last one of them black trucks are bullets. And this is not, this is not secure. See, I'm about to stop watching the video. I already got to be somewhere. I already got to be somewhere. I wouldn't be watching this video if it wasn't for y'all. Like, I wouldn't be reacting to this shit. I already got to be somewhere. So, these recycled ass clips, these, 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 this, this bullshit, this bullshit. Like, this is not no security guard. This, his name is, we might as well call him the Memphis News Reporter at this point. This nigga was at the funeral just to report the news. Swear to God, he wasn't even at the funeral to grieve, to, to, to have, to send his condolences. This nigga went live the whole entire funeral. And I'm pretty sure every last one of them black trucks are bulletproof. And at the beginning of the video, you seen the two armed guards looking, making sure no funny stuff happens. That's how it's supposed to be, y'all. Let's continue. I'm talking about that's how it's supposed to be. For who, nigga? For the most hated? the big drip funeral service in Memphis, only on black or no. They getting up out of here. That, that, that's you see that. those two guards on alert? They got their eyes right on that car, making sure nobody gets close to it, making sure there ain't no subtle movements, making sure there's no suspicious activity. Them niggas armed with Because they them well aware what happened gun, the They well aware them, what people been saying on the Them niggas armed with them that now. It. it was get back for young dog. So right. was the target. They Look at sure the strap on them niggas. Safe. I'm pretty sure your Gotti probably paid about a million dollars for security. Come on now. Come on now. I'm about to hand you a bicycle, my nigga. I'm about to hand you a bicycle. A million dollars for security is crazy. Easily. He How you know? Pull the receipts. These bloggers just be talking. Y'all wanna watch the full video? Y'all can go watch this shit. I'm not finna watch this nigga. I'm about for Christmas, I'm about to cut to the chase. Shout out to him, but I'm about I'm a bicycle. He easily paid Yo Gotti, the boss the gangster, easily paid police. A million dollars easily for the helicopter for nigga what the receipts. We not finna we I'm not finna sit here and watch you goddamn tell me some bullshit. Yeah, if y'all wanna go watch the poll video, y'all go watch the whole video. I ain't about to sit here and watch the last six minutes. I got somewhere to be, man. I, ain't, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and peace, man.